Welcome, my fellow travelers, to a new let's play of Colonize. Let's get into the game. We play Playmouth. That's we the only thing. To rid the Church of England of the vestiges of papal influence. Despised as Puritans, we suffered persecution and were forced into exile. In the year of our Lord, 1620, we left Europe on a religious mission to establish a godly government. In Plymouth, we boarded Mayflower, an ark that would carry us to the promised land. Soon, we were besieged on all sides by the treacherous ocean. Scurvy and fear of imminent death accompanied us for the remainder of our journey. We barely reached the new world alive after months on the high seas. The fear of retribution plagued our minds. Our countrymen had already warred with local tribes over this land. Many of us, too, believed we were not destined to share it. Famine and sickness struck our colony. We resorted to stealing food from the natives. The whole settlement feared the violent wrath of their war parties. Instead, one of them befriended us. Squanto spoke our language. Despite previously having suffered in slavery at the hands of our kind, he arranged for us to trade with the people of the First Light, thus saving our very lives. They introduced us to the beauty and bounty of our unforgiving surroundings. But most settlers still refuse to see them as equals. Others would only deal with them if they commit to his word. Shall peace be sustained by sturdy plowshares or instruments of warfare? So what did we find out in this intro? Squanto is a pretty cool dude. The first colonies were about to survival in the wild and in hospitality, in hospitable environment of New England that were frequently caused by hunger and many diseases. In our game, Colonize, we try to bring the difficult lives of the first colonies after closer to the modern day. Yeah, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Do not want to try the tutorial. Do not want to. So I'm gonna be a little bit critical directly in the beginning because this path building is pretty stupid and if I right click I can't exit sometimes I can exit with space but that doesn't work so I have to put always on to exit but as I read before this game is done by two brothers just two brothers nothing more yeah but i hope they will change that soon because that is an absolute basic thing to build roads and right click to exit it so i started with um a woodcutter and I will continue with the song. And we should take people away from here. And these spots are closed now, so there can maximum two workers can work there. 
and we shall increase the time here they start uh, 14 hour days totally correct for that time so Yeah, I didn't found out how to scroll the um, change perspect perspective of the camera. I just can turn it, but I can get down to have a, a view from the side. So here is our inn. The people will eat there. This is a warehouse where they where the builders work. So the transporters are the builders too. They have two jobs. And then we get a wheat field. Did they finish? Yes, they finished the woodcutter. So we can get a road over there. Exit. The woodcutter cutter can work for 12 hours with no problem. And here are the statistics, but we don't need at all. This is a mission map, and we need an expedition building first. We can speed up by clicking tree or down here. So we'll speed the game up till our buildings are finished. So we have no workers left to make a building to work in our building. Oh, he's building on the pathway. That's quite not so good. Let's get a few houses. Because houses are the only way to get more population. Here are the shelter where they live in, but they get don't get uh, more population, they need a house to weed the children. And exit. We should get one worker over here. And we're gonna plant some corn, some potatoes, um, I don't know what I need, the wheat is to make bread, I think the barley is to feed our anima animals, not enemies, and some tobacco to trade, because you get Pretty high amount of trading goods for tobacco. To trade, we're gonna trade with a hometown. Yes, one tobacco gives you two coins. One wheat one, one wood one, and ladder gives us two. Let's speed up the game again. Priority to this building because they are making the planks and if we don't have any planks left we can finish that. We have to trade some there. 
So to get one working in the sawmill, we need to cut one more worker. Oh, and we need well. We need a well. I haven't figured out when these are finished for the harvest. I think the blue thing, the blue line here is um, how much they are watered. And sometimes you click on harvest and uh, they actually harvest it. But we're gonna try that soon. Well, we, we don't need that yet. That's a thing too, uh, it's really hard to spot the stone on the map. But you can build it somewhere and uh, that's no problem. If you hear a strange noise in the background, that's my dog walking around. Yeah, we don't need anything at the moment. We could get a chicken farm. I don't know why it's this wet um, circle, but I think this is gonna disturb our people in our houses. So maybe we get that outside of our village. I don't know why this happened now. Let's get it down here. <clears throat> the nights are pretty boring. And nothing is happening in the nights. Nothing at all. I could get some people to work in the nights um, with this tool. What I didn't figure out, maybe you could um, tell them to work from 13 to 23. Maybe they're gonna going to another job from 23 to six in the morning I don't know but this one I want to work longer from 16 to 4 so you have something to do at night sorry <coughs> okay what else we have to wait till our Houses are finished to increase our population. Maybe we set priority to this one. So the first one moved in. And we could start our query. And a fishery, we could get a fishery. Over there. And then we wait. 
We wait on population. We wait on our buildings to get finished. And we try to harvest now. Let's do that. Oh yeah, he's actually harvesting. Maybe we could get more if we waited longer. But I don't know to on, on what we should wait. Maybe it's this green green thing around. Oh yeah, this one sh seems finished. No. Just the same small hole than the others. What is not so good is that it's harvesting everything. Maybe he should just um, harvest what's finished when I tell him. Not blindly harvest everything what is there. Max speed. And here comes the night again. I think I will cut the nights out so you don't have to watch how nothing happens. So cut here. <sighs> the night is over. Let's get up and get to work. Continue our village. Something unbelievable happened in the night. Our first, why he tells me wheat field, that was because I was on the wheat field. But our first child is born. So welcome to our colony. I think they need one or two days, then they can work, or they can work immediately. I didn't figure it out yet. And I didn't find some... The tutorial tells you nothing. It tells you how to move the camera, how to zoom in and zoom out, go left, go right, go front, go back. The basic stuff, to turn the camera. And then it tells you to build a few buildings, blah, blah, blah. But... Don't tell you which are the white buildings to, sorry, to build. <laughs> yeah. It's really early, early access. There's just this one level, there's just uh, a few things that you can build, like here's the council, but he, I think there's not even a council, council building and there's no militia building at this stage. And what he tells you in the, oh here's a new man, what he tells you in the, in the, whoop tutorial you can click here on filter take this guy pick him up and put him into a building but that's pretty it could go easier there should be an easier way to manage uh, your colony and again there's the night is soon coming Yeah, let them water those fields. We are in July. I think two days are a month, or one day is a month. Didn't pay attention on that. We have 28.9 degrees. And so on we have. What is pretty dumb, mate, is here. <clears throat> 
we have just um, 20 space for meat, 20, uh, 30 space for bread, 18. Now we have 18 and we have 50 spaces for fish. That's stupid. You should have like uh, 200 or 300 space or more. And you should get into your storage or into your cellar what you need. Because I don't think if they had a big harvest of, of potatoes that um, they would say, Oh, we already have, where are the potatoes? 100 potatoes into the cellar. So you have to throw them away or leave them on the field. What should we do with all these potatoes? Get them away. Eat them. No, don't eat them. Throw them away. Because we have no space. Ask the inn if he needs potatoes. No, he's full with potatoes. Yeah. A tip for me what you could change. What else? Maybe we could get one more house. One more house. These buildings are still not finished. We could need one more worker. In a sawmill. But the worker isn't grown up till now. Well, there's no need for one more house because we have just three men. And two men together can make babies. They can't. Maybe they should add adoption. Adoption in this game. So you can adopt a child if you want one. Maybe it's better to create them, um, create more children for the community, for the colony. This is your goal, create children. We need ladder. I don't even know what we can do with the ladder. I think there's no building to do something with the ladder. So we don't need ladder. Our chicken farm is finished. But we have no workers to man it. And we have to put exit again. Because we were building a street. So what can we do? We could trade a little bit. We have a lot of wood. Give them 10 wood. And 11 tobacco. We get 32 gold coins. So it's not an, a colony from Holland because then it would be Gulden's. Let's get some lights. Not that we would need lights, but it looks nicer in the night. At night. And we have something to do. Get some lights for the colony. You see, looks a lot better. We have two more gold coins, so we could take a bench right in front of our inn. And money is gone. Exit. 
I pronounce it because I think this is really, really stupid. And what else is missing is um, a menu. There is no menu at the time. So I could put exit or uh, looking here to enter a menu. There is nothing. So if the sound is too, la too loud or too quiet, you have to exit the game. And you can only exit it by out a four at the moment, as I think, because I didn't find another way. Then you have to go back into the game, change the sound, change the graphic, or change whatever you want to change. And you can start a new game because you can't save at the moment. That that for me that you can't save is no problem at all. But they should add a menu and the right click to exit the streets because if you build if you play a building game like this you're not always on the on the exit button with your hand so it would go a lot faster if you right click and uh, yeah let's cut the night back in the day what i wanted to say um Maybe it sounds like I'm really critical, but I, I know it's an early access and it's pretty soon early, early access, so maybe it's too soon to put out the uh, early access. There are just three, two brothers working on the game. We finished our Fisher Hut. I know that. but I still can get my opinion out. <coughs> so how many children this, did we got? We have one. Oh, they are breeding like hell. Six, nine, twelve. Twelve children for the colony. Nice work, guys. So we need two days for them because there's still no one working in here. That's because mm, they are not going up now. Till now. No child labor in this game. Why? It's a colony. I think they would have child labor. I don't know, <clears throat> but they had for sure to work on the farm at that time. It even works too, too fast here in three months. They have produced five children. I don't know. I'm okay with it. So don't be alone. Don't let me be too critical. I think we are maxed out on wood because we have 100. That could be that this is the maximum. Let's harvest this. And we have one worker here. We should work for 10 hours. We have to trade to buy us some chicken. Let's get them some wood. And some tobacco. I don't know what you need tobacco for, so I always trade it. And these things you can sell, and this you can buy. You see a tobacco. No, they don't need tobacco. Winslow is born. We are in the night again. People going into the inn to eat and drink and have a nice time. 
And so now they go to sleep and we will make a cut. Another day began and I think we harvested our food too late because it's already closed for winter. So now let us buy that chicken. After we can slaughter them for meat and they will give us what our um, eggs every day. Good get a hunter. What does... Yeah, that's something too. They don't tell you what the hunter needs to get built. Yeah, here's one of these famous stones, but you don't see or don't find easily someone is working here but I don't know um, where he's getting the stone from maybe this is a stone I don't know let's follow him if we find him <clears throat> Or maybe this is just an underground thing where, where they take the stone out. Well, it could be. Actually, it's nice that in October it gets dark uh, uh, earlier. That's a nice gimmick. So, we are working on a hunter. And there should be... A fishery should be finished, and it's finished. So we can buy, build a street and get some more lamp posts. I don't understand it, why you need these points. I think they will disappear in a later game. I hope they will disappear at a later stage of the game. Because it looks stupid. I get one here. One here. One in front of a chicken. And then we should get an expedition building. Well, maybe this is a good spot. So why have all here? Why does this building has a blue line? I can tell you. Build this building and send rangers to explore your colony behind your borders and establish new trade routes. Maximum worker 6. Wood planks 50-70. Resources to start the expedition. And output is resources you can gain. <clears throat> let's get this building and we make priority to max and we build a church after it still no major they are mature they are all still children. Cut again. No, 
It's already five in the morning and I talked the whole night long. So we're gonna... So you're gonna see how nice are our lights. Could even get one more light over. Oh no, it costs two. We don't have the money. Oh, the fisher hut is closed too for the winter. I didn't knew that. Where can we take off some workers and put them into our warehouse? Where can we... Oh, we need stones. Maybe the cellar one is enough. X 48 yeah maybe we should leave a second one in it but no I want to get this building finished let's get one more house even could put it over the road it's stupid but what you can do is you can build to a house but you can put the, the building on the house uh on the street sorry over the street maybe we found some problem over here that needs changing games have to change ch -ch changing don't want to be a critical may change times change they could change me if the game change it could change me. Yeah, something like that. Okay, um... Now I have this song in my head. <clears throat> Let's see. It's night time. So we cut daytime again let's see do we see somewhere if he can work no I can't find some statistic that tells me is oh here H but it doesn't tell me at what age he can work. Can he work at 11? Can he work at 9? Can he work at 14? Or at 18? It's a big question. Oh, here we see at 10 he can work because this one is a stone miner and this one has no job. And something else what I can show you what I think is a cool idea. Where is it? Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Um, You can set a filter. So, 
I want just people with 90 experience. But then we won't find someone. And now I... He took himself another job. Or I want one really strong to work in that building. So let's get her out of the mine. Yes, she's in the carpenter building. And we want one more carpenter and one more woodcutter. Fishery is closed. Cellar we have one. There's no work in the winter except for getting out the eggs. And as you see, our eggs are full and they are stocking here. So we could slaughter some chicken too. Three. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We slog a half. Half of them. So now we could start an expedition. Where is it? Missions. So here we need three bread, five meat. Here we need three gold coins, two meat. So let's get gold because this one. Twenty gold for ten tobacco. Mission. Let's get on this mission, start expedition. Waiting for resources. And if they have the resources and their work time is on, they will go on that expedition. We make a cut again because the nights are pretty boring and long. They should add something to skip the night or even to make the night even faster. So let's cut. And daytime again. <clears throat> daytime again. We are back. Out of our beds. <clears throat> I don't know what's with my voice, sorry. But it seems like I'm... I maybe have too dry air into my apartment. And I have to close the windows, because if I talk at night, I'm playing at uh, 2 o'clock at night, so it's not a right time to open the window, because neighbors will come and they will lunch me, lynch me, lynch mob me. So, um, what did I want to do? I wanted to finish the church and we gonna check our mission. Yeah, our expedition is in progress and finished soon. Trade route is established. We can trade now with a government of the Wampanoag tribe, the Wampanoag, the Wampanoag, a govern of the Wampanoag tribe. Trade with a enabled, but that's cool. I already looked for it, and I never could find it. So I don't know how you trade with them. Ex Except for start another expedition, which we will do. We are in January. The winter should be over soon and we could get new 
kill stuff and new fish because we have no fish left. Tobacco, potatoes, no corn. And we need corn for our chicken, I think. Yes. We have five corn left, then we have to slaughter the rest of our chickens. <clears throat> Which isn't too bad because we get meat from it. Actually, I'm not sure if we get meat from it. Yes, it, we get meat from it. Yes, zero from 230. So we get meat from it. Meat from it. Oh. Let's make a cut again. Back in the day. Our church is not finished. Our mission is on the way. And what else? Oh, we have six people working there. That's maybe too much. But I don't care. Maybe we get a lot of gifts and we need these six people. Could be. Who can tell? Two more work spots here. Transaction completed. We have successfully traded war materials for high priced furs. But I don't see any furs. No, there is no, there is no, maybe they killed our expedition tour, or someone else killed them, they couldn't bring them back, so let's send another expedition out, so what do we need for this one, I didn't check that, Meat and gold coins. We have everything. As the Waganda tribe once, I don't know how, how the name was again. Um, the Agavam. Like they wanted gold. What do you do with gold? The natives never wanted gold to trade. They wanted stuff that they don't have, like shoes or or a cool hat or yeah, I don't know. And again, we have traded for furs. What else did they want? It I don't know. Guns. Nice thing, they often give them guns, but they don't give them a lot of bullets or fire powder. So they couldn't really use them. We have all materials that we need. Yeah, these expeditions are a lot too fast. Like, they need 0 0.05 days, I think. That's too fast. Let's skip the night. Daytime. <clears throat> Already 9 o'clock. I didn't pay too much attention so yeah um, my opinion about the game is they brought it out too early <clears throat> because maybe now you people will play it and they think never gonna play that again could be Tess 
some potential. They could do a great game out of it. I, I like this. Um, I didn't use it, the working filter, but it's a cool idea. If you have some benefits from it, and that benefit is um, somewhere explained, then it's nice stuff. Now I have a girl and two children, and one of them is a girl. I have working in there, but I still get my planks. So I don't see any problem there. Yeah, what else? Like I said before, all the stuff with the roads needs to be changed. I want my white mouse button to exit the building. Oh, the church is finished. We can have a look at the church. Could have a nicer door. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Nice. We have a church. We are one step closer to God. What would be nice too is if I this is not that I expect it at the moment, but in a later game maybe they could um, bring some beer attacks or some native some attacks from natives. Yeah. Or I don't know. There's potential in this game. But for the moment too early and I showed you everything what is in the in the prologue except for this mission I am still waiting for the rangers to finish this one but I think nothing gonna happen we will wait till that's finished and then Maybe something is happening because I never finished it. Yeah, what else? I don't know. That's quite it what my opinion about this game is. Let's skip tonight. So this mission we haven't done. We This one is on the way. And we haven't built the pig farm, the bakery and the mill. But if you want to see the mill, the bakery or the pig farm or the other mission, just download the game. It's free. The prologue is for free on Steam. So colonize, prologue, and that's it. You can try the game. So if you have liked what you saw and what I have told you, leave me a like. It would help. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you have something else to say, leave a comment and tell me what you think. I want to know. So, that's it. I'm not going to save because I can't save. And there won't be a second time where I show you something from this game because it wouldn't make sense. There is nothing more at the moment. But I'm... I hope they will work clever on it and that they look that's another thing now our woodworkers they have wood here and they work right here why here he's working over there why is he working over there are you stupid man? 
Are you stupid? No one would go a longer way when he could take the short way. Always take the shortcut. <laughs> so that's it. I hope to see you again on my channel. Goodbye.